Hello guys, so to start off on my cloud tutorial, I'm picking up the shade and light palette and I'm taking that charcoal shade and buffing this out throughout my entire um, lid. I really got inspired to do this cloud tutorial, but kind of like a thunderstorm. I don't know why and that's why my hair is going to look a hot mess because I sat down to film this video super last minute. Um, but I really needed to get the idea out of my head. So I'm taking the NYX gel liner in the shade white and I'm taking a Morphe M451 for this step and I'm just carving out the circular areas like like the half circles and then um, the more I add the higher I go kind of building like a ladder effect. Um, it took me a couple tries to get it down packed but third time's always a charm because <laughs> this was my third time. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag down that jaw liner and apply it all over the lid. I would say a concealer would have been much easier um, if I would have thought it through but this jaw liner worked perfectly fine. So picking up this pencil brush, I'm jumping back into that first shade we started off with and I'm just really defining the outer parts of the cloud. Um, this brush was the perfect size to get in there. That was the Morphe M515 and I'm taking the Morphe 35B palette with this flat Bodyography Pro brush and I'm taking that white shade, just setting down that gel liner and picking up the gray shade once again and I'm going to be blending out the outer corners and dragging in the color because I really wanted the eye to have a winged out look when my eyes were open. Dipping into the black shade, I'm taking that on a Morphe M562 and I'm blending that out just on the outer corner of my eye. This is the perfect brush for that step. It's a very, very tiny, skinny blending brush, so it gets right in there. And then I'm taking the shade Rum Raisin from the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. Um, and I'm placing that right in the center of the lid, basically right on top of the gray shadow that I smoked out. So I'm picking up the Sephora Collection High Precision Liner in the shade Black and I'm just drawing a thin line above my lashes just so when I apply my falsies it kind of makes it a little bit more discreet, you know. Um, taking the Snazaroo palette, I'm picking up the yellow shade and I'm drawing my own version of a lightning bolt because I tried numerous amount of times and it did not work out. So, you know, this is what we're getting. I thought it looked cute. So I'm taking the Sinazaru palette again, the white shade, and just drawing some small dots all around the eye above the cloud, kind of giving it kind of a dimension. I really saw this in the hashtag because I was looking for inspo on Instagram and it looked so pretty, so I really wanted to recreate that. I'm taking the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter in the shade Midnight Cowboy and I'm applying this all over as if like it were rain falling. It kind of gave it a very pretty reflect and I applied it right in the center and I absolutely loved the effect it gave. So for lashes, I'm taking the Batty B Lashes in the Style Insta Hole. These lashes are so full and nice. They're very heavy, honestly. <laughs> They're a little uncomfortable to put on, but they're super pretty. So to prime my face, I'm taking the Pink Perfect Creme by Herborian. Herborian, yes, I said it right. And this claims to hydrate your skin as well as blur your pores. And it really did that. It was very, very hydrating. And as I blended it out, it kind of felt like it was getting smoother, but more sticky. So I really like the way my foundation laid on top of this. To start off on complexion, I'm taking the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Warm Nude and I'm just buffing that all over my skin with a damp beauty blender. And then for concealer, I will be taking the Stellar Beauty Concealer in the shade 02. Um, I really loved the applicator on this concealer and it's a very, very lightweight, nice concealer. So if you're looking for something lightweight for coverage, this is definitely the route um, and I'm just blending that out with my beauty blender under my eyes and down the bridge of my nose. For cream contour, I'm taking the One Wild Mega Glow Contour Stick in the shade Oaks on You and I'm picking that up on a Morphe G40 just going along my forehead and contouring my cheeks.
For highlighter, I'm taking the Maybelline Molten Gold Highlighter and I'm picking that up on a Morphe M510. I'm applying the highlighter right before I set down my contour so the area is kind of still dewy from the foundation because I did not add any powder yet. And then now I'm going in with the Morphe R2 and I'm picking up the Milani bronzer and just setting down my contour. And then for blush, I'm taking these two shades from the BH Cosmetics blush palette and I'm applying that to my cheek to my cheeks not my cheekbones i get very nervous with blush but i'm honestly getting into it to be completely honest with you guys so for brows i'm taking the um benefit precisely my brow pencil and i use this in the shade 4.5 i absolutely love this brow product definitely one of my most favorite pencils this and the anastasia brow is but i find that this color works a little bit better with my hair color To start off on the lower lash line, I'm taking that gray shade on a Morphe M515 and I'm really just smoking out my entire lower lash line with this shade. And then I pick up a little bit of this black shade and I just apply that on the outer corners until about halfway through my bottom lower lash. I didn't apply it all the way because I didn't want it to be smoky all the way. And then for my waterline, I'm taking the MAC Chromographic Pencil in the shade NC15 and W20. Love this pencil and I love the effect it gave the eye completely different look um and for my lower lashes i'm just coating them quickly with the monsieur big mascara by lancome this is the waterproof one i don't like waterproof mascara because they're very hard to take off but this mascara is really good and i'm picking up this shade right here in the naked cosmetics highlight palette and i'm just applying that to my inner corner the camera doesn't pick up its true yellowness but it was very yellow and gold i love the way it looked and i'm picking up the dose of colors knock on wood liquid lipstick and i'm just applying that all over my lips and lastly to finish up my lips i'm using the la girl lip liner in the shade Nonstop nude to define the outer parts of my lips and i'm topping that off with the i love sada e and color pop ultra glossy lip and that completes this tutorial guys i hope you guys enjoyed my cloud tutorial and i will catch you guys in my next video bye